What's up guys, it's Eric and this is how I hit a million followers on TikTok because I've always gotten people that will ask me, oh my God, you're TikTok famous, whatever. And I do like to share about TikTok because I do enjoy the app. It is one of my largest social media apps out there uh, that I am on, uh, bringing awareness when it comes to mental health and mental illness, sobriety, suicide awareness. If you're new to my channel, hit the like and subscribe button. I'm not a doctor, I'm not a counselor. I am diagnosed with ADHD, PTSD, GAD and MDD. Those are my diagnoses. I've self-harmed before. I take meds. I see a therapist. And I lost a wife and a father to suicide. Almost lost myself to suicide. And TikTok was an app that originally I was not very fond of. Um, I remember seeing the app uh, over a year ago and looking at it and just seeing more of a dancing app, whatever. Never really downloaded it. It wasn't until I had a friend of mine who was like, dude, you got to get on this app. Your message is really powerful. I think you could do something on it. Um, I got onto the app and I played with it for a little while. I played with it from about February until right around like April and I'd stopped for a while due to just, it, it wasn't a very well-known app. A lot of people said, hey, you're an adult, you're on a child's app. And I just, I didn't want the drama from it. Uh, I eventually went back to TikTok in May just because it was, it was a fun app. It wasn't a toxic app, it was as toxic as I should say as like Twitter was. So I was like, hey, I'll give it a try again. And I did. And I put in a lot of work into it. And I ended up now today passing a million followers on TikTok and over 17 million likes. And the thing that really inspires me about what, what was created and how I created it was just the sole fact that it was on mental health. Uh, I don't do any real big dancing. I mean, I do a little bit of a boomer dance, I guess you could say. Uh, and I do have some fun on there, but pretty much all of my content is mental health. It's coping skills. It's coping techniques. It's putting my number out there every single day or the Discord community out there every single day for anybody suffering because there are so many people out there that are struggling. And let's face it, a lot of us use social media to escape to. So many of us use social media to escape to. And when we escape, we're looking almost, I feel, for that sign. At least I was. And so I was like, man, if I can just reach that one person out there that's feeling that way, maybe I can make a difference in their life. And I like to think that I have made a difference in a few different people's lives just by putting out a message every day and being extremely vulnerable. Uh, the more vulnerable we are, the more that we share a story, the more that it inspires others. And the more that it empowers us because we own our story. And the more that we own our story, it doesn't own us. It doesn't rent any space in our brain. And we portray and, and, and convey a very strong message because so many other people can, can relate. The whole thing, like I had a goal to, to hit a million followers on TikTok. And it wasn't because of any fame or anything of that sort. Because believe me, if you want to know how much money I make from TikTok, that I make $0. I can't do live streams, which is the only way that you make money from TikTok. Uh, even when I did live streams, I didn't want anyone to gift me. I would have rather them subscribe to the YouTube channel. I'd rather them uh, get into the mental health discord or share a video that might help somebody else out there. So I, this year, I mean, I made zero dollars. Last year, I think I made like 800 bucks off of the um, off the live streams. So I did make 800 bucks. Uh, that's not a lot to live on if you take the grand scheme of things. So I really don't make any money off of TikTok. It's not about that for me. What it was about was, so somebody could literally go, hey, this guy talks about mental health. Let me see what he's about. Go, holy shit. There's a million people out there that are the same as me. That was what it was about because there is such strength in numbers. And the strength in numbers comes from the comfort of knowing that we're not alone because a lot of times when we're struggling with depression, anxiety, whenever I've struggled with that stuff, we isolate so much that we firmly believe that we're alone. And I went off of that concept of, you know what, let me help somebody feel a little bit less alone. I found the more that you're real and the more that you have fun and you do what you enjoy or your passion, the more that your, your social media is going to grow. The social media platforms that I see that never ever grow are the ones that are forced, where you're forcing it. And it's not a true enjoyment. It, when it's a true enjoyment, you can tell in somebody that they, they enjoy doing that, that this is truly a passion of theirs. And you attract others that have that same passion. And mental health, I think, is a phenomenal thing because there's not many mental health channels out there when it comes to social medias. I mean, even on YouTube, there's not a tremendous amount. And I don't blame them. I mean, Charles has probably the largest just mental health advocate channel that I've seen, uh, Authentic Mental Health. Uh, he's at like 140,000 subscribers. 
And there really aren't these huge mental health channels out there. And I, I firmly believe is that we don't always need those channels. Because I know that my material isn't always needed. Not everybody is struggling all the time. And that's the joy of it. But the fun part is, and, and the empowering part, and the helping part is that at any time anybody needs any help, it's there for them. And that's what was really touching for me. I mean, for the ones out there that, you know, you want to get TikTok famous or you want to be famous of whatever sort, I guess, I don't know what the excitement in that necessarily is. I don't, I literally don't see it. Um, I am too hands on uh, helping people to really understand what the, the fascination with it is. But I'll tell you this, it, it's being consistent and speaking your message. I mean, I was very consistent and still am every single night, right around four or five o'clock my time, I'm putting out my message. And it's a repetitive message. But the reason that it is repetitive is it's not for the follows, it's not for the likes, it's for that one person out there that hasn't heard it yet. That goes, damn, this is, this is, this is me. And I need help. I need to reach out for help. That's what it's about. And that's where the power of it is. So if you're trying to grow social media, be consistent, find enjoyment in it, and don't pay attention to the numbers. I mean, I've never really strongly paid attention to the numbers. Uh, it was one of those that, yeah, the bigger that you get, the, the quicker that the numbers go. Um, there is a lot of momentum that has to do with it. But just have fun with it and allow it to transfer over as it does. I mean, as you can tell, I mean, my YouTube channel versus TikTok, there's a huge difference. I mean, a million versus 15,000. So each social media has to be grown differently, and, and there's a lot of proof to that. Uh, and it's a lot of hard work. I mean, it's a job essentially that you'll do that you don't get paid for, but you enjoy it. And I enjoy it because I know that it helps people. And I do my best to offer as many free resources as I can. And I know that there's even people out there that hate me and don't like me, and that's okay. I don't judge anybody. You cannot like me, and, and that's all right. I just do my best with what I'm given to try and help people the best that I can. There, there's no guidebook or rule book to what we do and, and how we do it. And that's why I support all the other mental health channels out there as much as I can or help bring awareness to even others because it is a we thing. It is an us thing. It's a together thing fighting through. And when you are not selfish and you give yourself and you care about others more than they're ever going to care about you is when your stuff really truly grows. So have fun out there. And you know what, don't, don't think that with numbers comes, comes fame and fortune and I don't have to go to school anymore or any of this stuff because no, it, it don't work that way. I'm sorry to tell you, it does not work that way. If you want to know the most heavily monetized platform, it's pretty much YouTube and then Instagram, uh, TikTok, no, not at all. But it is a very fun app and I do enjoy it a lot. And I know that it reaches a lot of individuals out there and that's all I want to do is just help somebody out there struggling know that they're not alone, know that they matter, and know that they can do it. So if you're out there and you're growing your social media and you're trying to get to that million, you know, I, I root you on because it is fun. It's a fun journey and you get to look back and have these little fun accomplishments. And I do believe in goals and passions help tremendously when we are fighting depression, uh, fighting anxiety to help us stop focusing in here as much and have direction towards something. So if that's something that you focus on and use, awesome. Because it is trial and error to find out what works for you. If you're new to my channel, hit the like and subscribe button. I mean, my goal is to bridge a crisis hotline and therapy with as many tools and resources that I can to help anybody out there struggling. Uh, in the description, I have links to all my different social medias. I even have links to things on Amazon like fidget cubes and fidget spinners. Things that I use that help me with my anxiety, uh, even calm it down. I even have a link down below to better help for online therapy. Again, trial and error to find out what works for you. Even have a link down below to uh, Renewal Recovery. Uh, they're a mental health recovery center that I, I do work with that actually has inpatient trial and error therapy, everything that you need to actually get yourself together. There's a link down there for that too. Uh, again, find out what works for you and do you. Do you. And love you and be you. Remember that you're a BAMF. You're a badass motherfucker. You made it through 100% of your worst days and make it through two today. And that alone is pretty fucking awesome.